What is up guys, it's your boy Rick. Why is the chicken still the hunter vanguard Akakis here? Guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button to support the channel and let me know what you think my next intro should be. That comment section is absolutely wild. All right, today we have some very exciting Destiny 2 news with the new reset and that is the fact that the Aegir's Scepter, the new exotic stasis trace rifle that was added to the game just just last week. If you don't know how to get it, I've done a guide linked up above. And that weapon has been absolutely fantastic. It has cemented itself as a huge part of stasis builds. Like I did a hunter build and a warlock build with this gun and both are fantastic because it lets you freeze enemies and then get all of the subclass synergies for doing so. But today it got a brand new exotic catalyst and this thing makes already one of the best new exotics in the game even better. So let's talk about it, but just before we do, all right, guys, here's the deal. The people from Ironsight reached out and said, hey, we love the channel. Would you be willing to do a sponsorship? And I said, well, let me try out the game if I like it, of course. And honestly, I I'm really annoyed by them. I'm really annoyed that they even reached out because I've been playing this game way too damn much. I'm trying to make Destiny content, brother, but all I can think about is leveling up and get the next gun in the Battle Pass. Dude, Iron Sight is a completely free-to-play game, positive reviews on Steam, only an 8 gigabyte install. It's available now on GeForce Now, and it's also got a new World War II Battle Pass. You got the old school weapons entering the game as well. Honestly, a fun little free-to-play shooter. Definitely, guys, try it out. It is actually pretty fun. All right, now how do you get this new exotic catalyst? Well, it drops from the Astral Alignment Seasonal Activity and seemingly it's just completely random. Like some people got it first try, I got it after eight runs because my streamer loop doesn't work apparently, but you also like don't need to be using the Aegers. I was at the time I got it, but I also had a teammate who did not have it equipped and they got the catalyst. So again, just grind Astra alignment until you get it. But importantly, you will have to open the Wayfinder's Trove that costs 100 of the seasonal currency at the end of the activity. So make sure you have enough seasonal currency to do so. But additionally, the game is really buggy right now in terms of this activity. And you'll see when you open this chest, it takes a really long time for rewards to drop. So a little tip I've had is that if you wait until you see the mission complete thing pop up and the timer starts counting down, then you open the chest it has seemingly reduced some of the problems because sometimes the loot will take so long to drop, the activity will completely end and it'll just go to your postmaster. So obviously that's not ideal. But once you do grind astral enough, you will eventually get this catalyst, but then you have to level it up. And here we have some more issues. So if we take a look at it, here's what it says. Defeat combatants while using this weapon to unlock this upgrade makes sense. Defeating combatants with precision damage will unlock the objective faster, that's great. But then obliterating destructible walls in the Shattered Realm grants additional progress. But here's the thing guys, as you can see, like right now, I'm at 1%, alright? I'm gonna shoot this wall and I do it with the Aegers, check again, and I'm still at 1%. So this catalyst right now is glitched out, blowing up those walls do not count, at least at the time I'm making this video. In fact, there's even a seasonal challenge that wants you to destroy these walls with the agers, and that doesn't get any progress when you do it. So again, this is bugged out, so ignore that for now and instead focus on the killing enemies. So load up something like the Thrallway checkpoint within the Shattered Throne dungeon, or just simply wish to Shiro Chi in the Last Wish raid, or just use this weapon normally. Like if you don't care about doing it fast, you just have to kill enemies. But there's something you should know about killing enemies. And that is, it's gonna take longer than you think. And the reason behind that is because when you freeze a target, and then kill that frozen target, you get that shatter effect. And that shatter effect doesn't actually count as kills from the Aegers. So what you wanna do is try to kill enemies kind of before they freeze and you kind of want to not pop off with the whole frozen and shatter thing. And for goodness sakes, guys, make sure you're not using, you know, a fragment or something where it increases the radius of that frozen enemy explosion because again, that doesn't count 
uh, as kills from the Agers, you just actually have to shoot enemies directly and kill them with the beam of this weapon. But after an unnecessarily long time grinding this catalyst because everything's bugged, you will finally complete it and then you can equip it. So what does it do? Well, it says you hold reload to drain your super energy, overflowing the magazine and empowering the beam with bonus damage and the ability to slow and freeze targets until the magazine or your super energy runs out or the weapon is stowed. Only can be activated when super energy is full. That's important so you can either activate your super and actually use that or activate the alternate fire mode of the scepter. So as you can see when I do it you have a little animation the beam grows stronger and in fact we go from approximately 512 damage to 921 damage which is an 80% damage increase. So 80% more damage is absolutely nothing to scoff at and again the freeze and slow part is important too that means when you're shooting a big target Normally, it, it wouldn't do anything. You have to shoot a small target, you know, a red bar beside the big target, and then the small target explodes and then freezes the big target. But now, in the alternate fire mode, as you're shooting a big target, it's just going to automatically slow and then freeze that target. So, really importantly though, when you activate this, you can actually see it takes away about a quarter of your super automatically. It just completely chunks it and then it's going to slowly drain so whether or not you're using this weapon it's going to drain over time however you can also see that I'm actually still kind of gaining super energy for getting kills and picking up now masterwork orbs of light because I have the catalyst so what happens if we actually equip the stasis fragment that has become so good with the agers Whisper of Bonds, which gives you bonus super energy for defeating frozen targets. Well, as you can see again, just with the Agers normally, absolutely shoots my super up. And then when I enter that alternate fire mode, guys, you can actually see I'm gaining more super energy than I'm using. Look at this, like this is insane. I'm actually beating out the super drain. In fact, you gain so much super energy. Obviously, we're still in the throwaway. There's a lot more enemies than usual, but still, you gain so much super energy that you actually get your super back, which is kind of problematic because I, I don't know if this is intended or not. When you get your super energy fully back, the beam actually ends. So it goes back to the normal beam and then you'll have to hold reload to activate it again, which will take, you know, a quarter of your super away again. But still, that shows you how powerful this is with that particular fragment. And this whole synergy really takes the Agers with the Catalyst to the next level. This is not something that's kind of a one and done thing you're using for DPS. You can use that high powered beam for a considerable amount of time. You can go an entire damage phase. You can go an entire encounter while using this because of that fragment. And that really changes my opinion on this thing. Like when you hear, oh, you have to use up your super, Obviously, that's a pretty big downside, but especially if you're on something like the Behemoth Titan, whose super is decent, but not quite as good in PvE as the other two classes, it might be worth it for going your super and then just powering up the Agers and just going to town. In fact, the super energy generation is so insane, often my beam will stop just because I run out of ammo or not enough ads are spawning so my magazine runs out. Remember, you've got a built-in perk that basically gives you subsistence to this gun for getting frozen or stasis kills, so you're constantly refilling your magazine as well. So this is really, really a powerful upgrade to an already incredibly powerful weapon. Guys, I would highly recommend grinding uh, the Astro alignment activity until you get this catalyst and then leveling it up this was already a huge boost to stasis builds and somehow it got even better so i hope you enjoyed this video found it informative and if you did please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video if you guys want to see more destiny 2 content similar to this don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button if you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity the best way is to follow me on twitter at rick Kakis. that is linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.